here now with uh, Mr. Roland Earl, who is the chairman of um, the British Toy and Hobby Association. We're just going to have a quick chat here. Firstly, I have to ask you, <laughs> you know exactly what this question is going to be now, don't you? What have you been doing to your arm, sir? Well, it's nothing to do with toys, I can right. say that. It's a boring accident at home, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, was, I thought you were going to tell me something interesting, like you, no. you hurt yourself playing on a rocking horse I'm or something. I'm afraid not, no, no. <laughs> I haven't been going to Millwall away games oh, or anything okay. like that. No, no. OK, not to worry. Right, the first question I've got to ask you is the, the media hype. Um, yes. Apparently we've hit a credit crunch, yes. which we, we, we're going into a recession, yeah. apparently. How's this affecting your business? Well, it does affect uh, toys quite considerably, as it does with anyone selling anything to the public. And right. uh, obviously, we, we don't know how, quite how that's going to work out at the moment. But the financial crisis, the credit crunch, um, the recession, mm -hmm. um, all of those will have impact on people spending throughout 2009 and into 2010. Um, what I would say um, is that the industry's statistics, which were reported today for the first time at the Toy Fair, um, show that although the value of toy sales in 2008 fell by about 2%. Right. Um, that was less than the general retail trend, which is between 3 and 3.5%. Three and right. so, so not as bad as you expected? Not, not as bad as it could be. Right. Um, in fact, the volume of toys sold last year, uh, the volume of units, uh, increased by about 7%. Right. Um, some areas, building sets, crafts, arts and crafts, mm -hmm. Um, preschool toys, which is for toddlers, they all grew uh, during 2008, as, as did some other categories as well. So right. it's not all doom and gloom, yeah. um, but we're not overconfident. Um, yeah. Everybody's concerned about the, what the new year has brought and will bring, and um, we'll have to watch and see. I mean, one thing that you can be assured of is that toy makers have gone through this sort of thing before. Yeah. Um, they're bringing new products to market, and they're trying to do value for money products. Um, toys generally are pretty good value for money, right. um, they're not a heavy investment product, um, so we'll have to wait and see and there'll be some winners and some losers. Okay, talking of losers, um, how did Woolworths affect you? Well Woolworths, the impact of Woolworths is going to be substantial because um, according to MPD who produced the data on sales of toys in the UK, Woolworths was accounted for a substantial proportion of toy sales throughout the year, not just at yep. Christmas. Um, other retailers will obviously pick up business from, from Woolworths and there'll be new retailers and new e-tailers who will come yep. along and, and stock toys. I don't think there's any danger to toys per se, although of course we're sad to see the demise of a, of a, of a much-loved brand and the staff that have unfortunately been made redundant selling not just toys but other things as well on the high street. Yeah, it's a shame. I mean, that Woolworths has been here for as, as long as I can remember. So um, how are you finding the internet now? Is that kind of taking over more than retail? Um, I wouldn't say taking over more than retail, but many retailers, first of all, have internet yeah. offerings. Uh, then there are specialist e-tailers as well. And I think this is very important. I think, um, you know, any new channel that uh, the industry can find or a manufacturer can find to distribute his products or her products is welcome and um, obviously that's the way in which some consumers like to buy and I think that's something which we'll see more of in the future and you'll see um, as I say both traditional bricks and mortar retailers adapting and, and already do, do already are doing so having websites um, and also specialist retailers that only operate on the web right okay now the burning question that I have to ask is What's your favourite toy that you've seen at the show this year? Oh, no, I, 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 unfortunately, I can't possibly comment. <laughs> <laughs> There's some great toys around. I mean, if I knew what would be the greatest seller this year, I don't think I'd be running the, right. working for the association. I'd be working for that company. Any, it's a very difficult business to predict. Anything that sort of caught your eye that you won't mind taking on yourself? Um, well... There are quite a few things, I'll be honest with you. He's and not going to give me an exclusive. No, I mean, there's, tell some, there's some great toys. We have a, 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 a nice display here uh, of um, 30 or so of uh, the, the, the new, of brand new toys, new concepts this year from people at the show. And they vary from um, flying kits right through to um, make-believe dress-up, that type of thing, the traditional right. type play. So there's yep. a nice balance of technology type toys and traditional traditional play toys as well. Excellent. Right, thank you very much for your time, sir, and your quick Still chat, and uh, we'll go and have a look more at the show. Yeah, 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 yeah.